Welcome back. Hope you had a good Easter. You know, even in a decaying Christendom, there is something so heartening about Sunday service on Easter morn with the church pews packed as they rarely are. And oh, wait, no, sorry, that my mistake. That was the old Easter before the state rolled the stone in front of the church door. So the hosannas were decidedly muted yesterday, singing remains forbidden in California churches. In Spain, they've taken the additional precaution of banning hymnals. In Greece, they've banned loudspeakers, just in case you're tempted to hold an outdoor service. But really, why not just cut to the chase? In Ireland, all in-person services are illegal. And like Father Hughes in Mullahoran, who said mass to 40 congregants, you'll get a 500 euro fine if you're minded to try it. And Pastor Cronin, at the Abundant Grace Church in Dublin was arrested mid-service. In one of posterity's little jests, an Irish Catholic is currently only free to practice his religion if he heads north across the border where under the tyrannous British Protestant yoke, the churches are open, unlike down south. However, don't get carried away. What the state giveth, the state can take away. Here's British coppers in South London seizing the pulpit and closing down worship in mid-service. It is Good Friday, and I appreciate you would like to worship that this gathering is unlawful, so please may you leave the building now. What's the proper response to that? Here's Pastor Arthur Pavlovsky in Calgary, Alberta. Please get out. Get out of this property. Immediately get out. Okay. Get out of this property okay. immediately. Out. I don't want to hear anything. Out of this property I immediately. Don't I don't want to hear a word. I out. Out. Out of this property immediately until you come back with a warrant. He called them Nazis and the Gestapo. Preach it, preacher man. And through the sheer power of his words, he drove the coppers down the stairs like Jesus throwing the money changers out of the temple. For it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, and ye are not going to make it a den of totalitarian goons. The only people committing a crime there were Her Majesty's miserable and unworthy Calgary Constabulary, who were in breach of Section 176 of the Canadian Criminal Code. Quote, everyone who willfully disturbs or interrupts an assemblage of persons met for religious worship is guilty of an offence punishable on summary conviction. That's a slam dunk, and that Canadian pastor should file a complaint with, uh, oh, the police. There is a tragic element to the diminished state of the Christian churches a year into this thing. If ever there were a huge opportunity for religious ministry, a world in which everything else is dead, movies, shows, sports, concerts, restaurants, all the noisy distractions of the secular consumerist life is surely it. Yet for the most part, Starting with the social justice pontiff in the Vatican blaming COVID on climate change, the churches blew it. And saddest of all, an unchurched year has seen church membership in the U.S. fall for the first time below 50% of Americans, which is a pity because when the churches fall silent, the only religion left is the state.